There is only one perfect solution and there are clues that will try to trick our team. Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and today we are taking a look at planets. So this is actually a relatively older module, but um, it's pretty straightforward as it gives you the instructions. Um, so let's actually go over it. So first things first is that we need to identify what planet we actually are working with on the, on the display right here. And you can describe it as best to your ability as you can. Some are simple like Earth and Mars. And um, some are a little bit harder to describe, but it's pretty pretty easy to, to um, explain what they are, or if you have a uh, history, or if you have the knowledge of what these names are, you'll be golden. So the first one that we're looking at here um, is Mercury. So Mercury is what, we're, is what we're working with here, so we're going to write Mercury, and we're also going to write down each of the five colored strips that we have on the side of the module. Notice how each of them are different. So what we're working with here is we have, we have green, uh, lime, lime, and orange, and another green. It's important to note that um, green is a very dark green like this, and lime is very bright. So just make sure that you pay attention for those colors. Um, so those will be important. So let's see what this module asks us to do. Find the planet's number in the table. In this case, we're working with Mercury. So Mercury uh, is one. Next up, we're going to multiply this by 123, which 1 times 123 is just 1, 2, 3. And multiply the number of solved modules by 10 and then add to the number above. We currently have no solved modules, and this is why I'm doing this module a little bit differently, is because of the fact that this is indeed solved dependent. So that's why I'm just doing three modules on one bomb to account for the case of solved modules. So what we're going to do is add nothing and this will be our number A. Next up, we're looking at B. Um, get the number of batteries multiplied by five. I forgot to grab the edge work, so let's grab that. Uh, one and one. Um, lit TRN, unlit SIG, and then unlit FR Quebec. And I'm not gonna grab the serial number, so plate RJ PS2 and plate parallel serial. look back at the module that we're working with here. So, get the number of batteries multiplied by 5. Okay, so that's 5, because we only have one battery, so 1 times 5 is 5. Um, multiply the number of lit indicators by 6, and then add the number above. We only have one lit indicator, so that's just going to be 1 times 6. So, in this case, that's going to be 6 plus 5 is 11, and that is our number B. And so what we're going to do next is get the number um, A, which is 123, Adding number, adding number B, which is 11. So now what we're going to do is um, 1, 2, 3, plus 11, 134. Adding 4 multiplied by the number of quarts, so adding 16 in this case. Because 4 times 4 is 16, so we're going to add 16, giving, giving us 150. And finally, adding 21 multiplied by 22. Now, what this means is we're simply adding, um, so 150 is going to be the quantity of 21 times 22. In this case, you're always going to be adding 462 to this module. So adding the 150, giving us 612. And this is our number C. The next up is where the uh, next step is going to be where the, um, the, uh, strips come, the color strips come into play. So what this is asking us to do is get the product of all of the strip colors from the reference below. So the strip uh, number reference is going to be right here. Um, off is simply black, just as a heads up, um, and aqua is a lighter version of blue. This is aqua right here. This is aqua, this is blue, this is off. So uh, know your colors. Um, most of them are pretty distinct from one another, just understand the brighter and uh, darker variants of one another. So in this case, we have, um, so we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to take the product of all of these strip color numbers from the references. Um, so what we're going to do is simply multiply every single digit that we get together. So we have a green, so that's going to be three, three times 
two limes times four times four times an orange times this by five and finally another green times this by three so we get 720. Next up, changing the value you base change the value you based on strip change one. Strip change one is going to be this little this this uh, bigger chart right here. So what we're going to do is uh, highlight strip one across the top and strip four down the side. So this is going to be a green and an orange, and that and what this simply means is we're just simply going to add four to this uh, to what we have so far. So seven hundred and twenty four. And then next up, we're going to um, multiply the number by strip change two. So what we're going to do is grab a number from uh, using strip three. In this case, lime is 97. We're going to multiply 724 by 97. And finally, there's an important rule that we must pay attention to um, that can trick people up sometimes. Multiply by five if the last strip is off or white. It is not the case. So this is our is this finally is our number D. So D in this case is equaling seventy thousand two hundred and twenty-eight. But for finally the step five, multi uh, modulo C uh, modulo number C and D by one thousand, or to put it simply, um, uh, do the last three remaining digits, the least so the three least uh, significant digits. So in this case, we're going to get rid of the seventy, leaving us with 612 for C, and uh, 228 for Delta. So multiply them by each other and then take their absolute value. So in this case, we're going to have 612, multiplying it by 228. We're going to input this answer and, and submit. So we're going to have 139536789. Um, and we're going to hit space to submit. The planet disappears, and the colors of the LEDs go off. So let's take a look at another example. This module is pretty straightforward in, in, in itself, but it's just a lot of math, essentially. So this one is Earth. We are looking at green, green, red, orange, and green for our colors. So. Um, finding our planet, Earth is 3, so 3 times 1, 2, 3, 3 times 1, 2, 3, is 3, 6, 9, and finally, um, multiply the number of solved modules by 10, so we have one solved module, so we're going to uh, multiply 1 by 10, and then we're going to add 10 to what we have from the number above, so it's going to be 3, 7, 9, and this is our number A. Next up for Bravo, um, number of batteries multiplied by five. This one is going to be 11 guaranteed because we've already determined that before. Um, one battery multiplied by five is five. One lit indicator multiplied by six is six. Five plus six is indeed 11. Let's continue on. Um, A and B, adding them together. So three, seven, nine plus 11. Um, is going to be adding another six, uh, adding 16 because we have um, uh, four times four in this case. So that's adding 16. And then adding 21 by 22, which is essentially 462. And this is our number C. So 868 is our number C. And then now we have the rule of delta. Let's take a look. The product of all the strip colors, let's add them up. So we have, um, we have three greens, so it's going to be three times three times three, and then an orange, and then a red. So it's five, and then it's another six. So empty that, that's 810. Uh, strip one, um, for strip change one, is going to be green, and strip four is orange. Again, that's the same case. So we're adding four to this. And for strip change two, our third strip is red. We're going to multiply this 814 by 63. And finally, just to make sure, um, we do not have the last case, uh, we do not have the last strip being off or white, so we're good to go. So delta becomes um, 51282. 
we're going to modulo each of these numbers, uh, C and D, by 1,000. So what that will become is 868 times 282, and we will submit that answer. 282 times um, 868 is 24,000, uh, 244,776. So 244,776. And just like that is a solved module. Let's take a look at one final example. Um, as this module is pretty straightforward and pretty simple once you get used to it. Um, all right, so proceeding as normal, this case is going to be a Jupiter from down here. So Jupiter is a five. So five times one, two, three is six, one, five. We're going to add the two solved modules that we have. So we're going to add 20, so adding 20. A is going to equal um, 635. B is equaling 11. We've already predetermined that. Um, uh, you'll know what I have. You know what I have to do. Um, 635 plus the 11 uh, plus the 16 from the number of ports uh, plus 462 from 21 multiplied by 22 will give us 1124. Finally, let's take a look at the strip colors here. So in this case, we have, um, for our first one, we have we have aqua. We have, uh, so one times uh, blue is two. Um, off is nine. Green is three. And red is six. Three, two, four is what we get from that multiplication. Three, two, four. Um, strip one across the top is an aqua. Strip four down the side is going to be a green, so we're going to subtract 5 from this, minus 5. And strip 3 is off, so we're going to multiply this by 74. Times in this by 74, giving us um, 23606. 23606. Moduloing both of these by 1000, giving us 124 and 606 to multiply together. 606 times 124. And finally submit our answer, we have 75,144. Uh, Press the space bar, and just like that is a solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. I know that this is a little bit of a, a less interesting module in this case. Um, remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.